Hi, this is Shreng Siddharth and welcome to the next video of this module in the course of Java Fundamentals and Basics. In the previous two videos, we talked about the for loop and while loop. Now it's time to check out the do while loop in detail. So here again, on the right hand side, I will show you the syntax of do while loop. And on the left hand side, I will show you the code snippet. So similar to the while loop, we simply initialize the counter in case of do while loop outside the do while loop. So here I will simply initialize the counter and then our loop will start. So the syntax to define the do while loop is that do something and then check the condition at the end. So here in case of do while loop, we first execute the code and then increment or decrement the counter and at the very end we check the condition. So no matter what is our condition, our code is going to be executed once, at least once. So do followed by curly bracket and then put your code, increment or decrement the counter as required, then close the curly bracket followed by while and then check the condition. So this is the syntax. So on the left hand side, let us check the code snippet. So here at the top, int i equal to 0 is a simple initialization of the counter variable followed by do bracket and then print the hello and then i++ followed by while and then the condition. So here our condition is i is smaller than 3. So as an output, we want to print hello three times. So we have to iterate through this statement three times. Now, if you have followed my previous two videos, then I don't think you will face any difficulty to understand this video as well. So here I have loop 1, loop 2 and loop 3. And finally end of the loop. So what happens exactly when we iterate through the do while loop 3 times? So let us check out this statement. So first we execute the code and then increment the counter and then check the condition at the end. So what happens when the first loop is executed? So here is the scenario. When the loop is executed for the first time, no matter what is the condition, we first execute the code. That is, we simply print out hello in the output console, hello, and then we increment the counter, i++. So here, previously, our counter variable was initialized to 0, but now, it is now incremented to 1. And the condition will be checked on i equal to 1, that is, 1 is smaller than 3, it is true. So once the condition is true, we can now migrate to loop 2. But for the loop 2, the i is now equal to 1. So this i equal to 1 appears in the loop 2. So here, we are simply going to print hello without checking the condition because condition in case of do while loop is checked at the end. So after printing the hello, we will increment the counter i++, then i becomes 2 and then check the condition 2 is smaller than 3 which is again true. So at the end of loop 2, we have i equal to 2 and this value of counter appears in loop 3 where we will simply print hello once again that appears in the output console. And after that, i++ that makes i variable equal to 3. But this time, at the end, when we are going to check our condition, 3 is smaller than 3, then it comes out to be false. Now, at the end of loop 3, we have i equal to 3 that makes our condition false. So once the condition is false, then the loop terminates immediately. So there is no scope of loop 4 to be started. So we just had 3 loops and 3 output statements of hello, hello and hello. Now when should we use the do while loop? We should use the do while loop when we are actually sure that we need to execute our code at least once. No matter what is the condition, we want to execute our code block at least once. Always remember. And now, inside the IntelliJ IDE, let us check out our demo code for printing all the even numbers from 0 to 20 using the do while loop. Now in the previous two videos, we already saw how to print the even numbers both in the ascending order and the descending order using the for loop and the while loop. If you have not checked the video, please check out those videos. 
So here again, as per the syntax, we are simply going to initialize our counter variable outside the do while loop. And then let us use the syntax of do curly braces open and close. So here put your code and at the end let us use while and here I will use the condition. And now in the code body our objective is to print all the even numbers from 0 to 20. So here I will simply use the if clause space bracket open bracket close modulus 2 is equal to equal to 0 then simply print out the counter variable i and now down the side simply increment the counter by 1 i plus plus and now let us replace this condition by i is smaller than equal to 20 and then simply end the statement with the help of a semicolon. So let us now run our code. So here we get the output 0 to 20 all the even numbers we have successfully printed inside the console output right and now again at the end I would like you to print all the even numbers between 0 to 20 in the descending order. So again what are the changes that you have to make. So here we can simply make int i equal to 20 and then our code will be same here and then here we are simply going to decrement our counter i minus minus and for the condition we are simply going to revert the case i greater than equal to 0. So let us print the values. So here we go 20, 18, 16 and gradually moving towards 0. So this was all about the do while loop in Java. Always remember you need to use the do while loop if only if you are sure that your code block will be executed for once. Because here in case of do while loop we check the condition at the end. So the first output that you get inside the output console does not depend on the condition that you have provided here. And again please comment below the video because your comments are my motivation. And if you like more videos like this please motivate me so that I can come up with more free videos like this for you. This is Shrikes from Smart Heart signing off. Thank you and have a good day.